Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we have finished the game, but of course there's plenty of stuff left to, for us to do. And I'm gonna start with the quest Honor the Fallen. We picked that up uh, around the middle of our playthrough with that priest that wanted us to fix a few of uh, his shrines. Um, and he tried to uh, pay for what, well, well happened to his, uh, his brother, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So the first one is over here next to the bridge when you're leading towards Meridian. And this is the Shrine of Kings. It may have been meant for the Mad Sun King, but it's ours now. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? There we go. You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Well, quite a bit, actually. Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, indeed. That's actually a pretty touching story. Braggled. Okay. Let's talk to... Oh, this guy looks like he needs a kick in the nuts. But... Here we go. Turn away, child. Jahamin. The abiding Jahamin wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. Uh, I think the sun is going along the sky at the same pace it has always been. Uh, but... Your sun king is false. I thought Avad taking the throne was the sun's will. The boy dishonored his father, dishonored us all. To kill the Sun King, what shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad Sun King have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The Sun called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. Oh, come on, the Sun doesn't call for anything, so... The temple is corrupt because normal people want to check it out? You called the temple corrupt. But aren't you one of its priests? They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You little you baby. You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Ooh, I just have... I only just started, so... uh and your soldiers are weak, so like the two guys right next to you. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. Yeah, because that outfit looks actually quite warm that the, the sun priest is uh, wearing. But uh, what was once pure? So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will. 
only to act upon it. That's so hypocrite, because the sun... You don't know what the sun says, even if you want to debate whether the sun is a god or not. But... Yeah, the sun was only talking through the sun king, who was a madman, so enough. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. The dead sun. Um... Change has already happened. You have no authority here. Well, both of those are true. You have no authority here. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city. So, I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun. Which sun? We call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Goodbye. Look, I've got that was easy. Sturdy awesome hands, oh, man, they're running inside there. Dog to the Osram Pilgrim. I want to, but he's running away from me. Dalgrad. Wow. That's quite a big statue. It did lose its head. But that bronze sword is actually really cool. Are you... I think you're... Ooh, you're really close there, buddy. Just not touching the sword. You happy now? He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. <sighs> Take it easy. I thank you for honoring my wish. You're welcome. I hope you can find peace. <sighs> I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. I do love that this is more than just paying a visit to all those shrines, because... Yeah, they actually worked that out pretty well. So let's go to the next shrine. I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna go to first, but I'll guess you guys will see that in a second. This must be the sun's climb. It would be no cause to pay his mark. The sun's climb. Seems to be over... No. Where the hell? I'm gonna have to climb up, probably. Um, yeah, let's, let's dismount. I'm gonna have to find a way up. Is there a way up? Ah! I think this... This is a path, right? This is a path. Looks like a path. Yeah, so the sun's climb. Where the Banuk wants to paint his mark. So let's see... If we can't help out anybody over here. This is actually pretty cool. Okay. You you don't look friendly. And now let's just take it out. With normal arrows. Yeah, okay, so there's more than a, a few here. Let's just go up entirely. So I have a bit of room to fight. I do need to be careful that I don't jump off here. Turn that around. Goodbye. So there we go, taking out the Glint Hawks, and that's apparently. Ooh, where's the Manuk guy? Apparently saved somebody. 
I didn't really take that into account, but where is he? Sir? Ah, there he is. It's kind of glitching out all over the place, but... Hello, Kimmick. You were a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. That's a nice way of putting that. That machines you live all. Thanks, Hunter. But we only do in memory. Well, you're welcome. So the only shrine left is Lake Shrine. So I'm gonna go in that direction, and I guess I'll see you guys in a second. Because I don't think it's that far away. But there is another metal flower here. Now that I'm up here, thank you very much. I need these flowers, and why? And now I need to go down. But there's not really a death ride down, so I guess I'll see you guys whenever I get close to Lake Shrine. Lake Shrine, I'm guessing since this is a lake, I'm uh, pretty much at the shrine over this there. Is the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. Kill snap malls, okay. Well, I think the first one was the most uh, interesting one, because this just comes down to kill some snap malls. Um... Might actually put down a few traps. And they're just gonna walk in this direction, I think. So let's place two blast arrows. Well, wires. And then a few fire ones. And that should do it. So now let's just fire away. I think I can go safely in between this thing. Now let's get on with it. Where's the other one? There he is. Come and get me, buddies. Well, as long as you're over there. I'm just gonna keep firing. Goodbye. Hey, yeah. He got in the traps. There we go. Ooh. Here we are again. Rhea. There's Rhea. Oh, there she is. So that killed this one, and then I can pick up this trap again if I want to. The blast wire. So I to the lake. Just want to take a look at this snap maw here. Thank you very much. And then we'll talk to Rhea, who wants to uh, say her goodbyes. Oh, there we go. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. Oh, that's a I'll nice tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests. Oh. What is it? Yeah, indeed. There. Her bracelet. And I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. Okay, that turned weird all of a sudden, but... Okay. Uh, that... Well, that's all the, the shrines we could visit. 
and fix up. So now we can go back to Naman and uh, tell him we've done his work. So see you guys back at Meridian in a second. So we're back in Meridian and there's actually a second reason why I'm doing these quests. There's actually a trophy where you can uh, that you can get if you get all possible allies in the final mission. Uh, there's a few we missed when we did we actually did the final mission. So before we did the final mission, and Amon is actually one of those. So the uh, the priest over here in the center, he is supposed to be in the center, but wait, where did he go? Because he moved. So technically, Vilgen is actually also one of those allies. Okay. That wasn't here before. Hello, Amon. N so Naman. You've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. There we go. So thank you, Naman, and there we go. Honor the Fallen complete. Um, I'm actually hesitating whether I have another uh, box left. Well, we did get a remarkable reward box, so let's open up that. But then, can I somewhere see how far we are with our collectibles? So, I finished most of the mugs over here, so the ancient vessels. Only one set of the Banook, so I think I'm missing one more metal flower over here. Which means I can't actually cash in any of those sets yet, so uh, fair enough. Let's continue on. Um, let me quickly check the quest log and I'll decide what to do next. So next up, there's actually one settlement I never visited uh, in the Nora region, so we're back where we started. Uh, and everything actually recovered pretty well from that... Uh, Eclipse attack for some way. reason. So uh, probably just a way to reset everything. But over there is Mother's Rise. And that's actually a place we never visited before. So let's go take a look. Looks like there is... It's pretty small. With just uh, a main hall and a few shacks. We have another uh, campfire discovered over there. And yeah. Let's go take a look. So there's a few quests over there, but there's a specific person I'm looking for, and her name uh, is Jan. Are you Jan? No, that's Fia. Maybe talk to her in a minute as well. But let's go first talk to Jan. I think you are Jan. Is your eternal memory. Oh, it's a guy. It's a guy. I thought Jan was going to be a woman, but there we go. Hello, Jan. You're Aloy. The one who returned to all mother's womb. I am blessed to stand in your presence. There's no need to fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My my sister, Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Indeed, because she's clearly looking for revenge, since the Red Raid were the, the Karja from the Mad Sun King that started murdering everybody. So is no Nakoa a seeker? Because we know what the Red Raids Did are. Did the Matriarchs really give Nakoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father. And left a postcard, raids. apparently. Nakoa saw it happen. Hidden in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. Okay, and you didn't go with her? You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nikoa to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. 
Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? No. It seems... Of course not. Cruel. That would be ridiculous. So, uh, I'll do what I can I'll for Nakoa. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred lands, but I just need to know that she's alright. Well, I think she might... She must have passed they her might make a... My an exception for me. There. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. Maybe she can. So thanks for the for the tip. So let's uh, use put that as our active quest. Oh, I'm gonna to talk to uh, Fia over there as well because maybe we can pick up something else on the way. Hello, Fia. You look pretty young. It's you, the anointed. Now, now, no need to make a fuss. So yeah, now everybody's freaking out over me. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you, but... Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along Brave Trails to the east, but... I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little Dream Willow would ease his pain. I'll do whatever I can. Thanks so much. Yeah, maybe we I'll can check that out on the way. Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Okay, so insult the injury, new side quest. Um, and with that picked up, I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to continue on the, uh, I think it's the Daltic's Vengeance, a Daltic's Vengeance quest. And uh, see what Nakoa has been up to. So, uh, but before that, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.